Hi, I'm Mary Ann, and this is a little Fair Isle cowl that I'm working on. As you can see from my oh-so-fancy stitch marker at the beginning of my round, I I've just started, so it's time to weave in some loose ends. Here's the beginning of the round. If you look, you can see I've been weaving them in as I'm knitting. Here's a tapestry needle. Sometimes I do thread loose ends and weave in each one individually. But this cowl will be lined, so it will have a backing. And this is a great way to have everything pretty much done and wrapped up once you finish your knitting, not having to face all of the uh, darning in of loose ends at the end. So let me show you how I do this. I'm keeping my blue on top, the red on bottom, all the way around as usual, okay? Here are my two new colors that I've just started. And here are the two from the last round. I wanna weave them all in together at once. So what I'll do here, my next stitch will be another red stitch, but I'll take all four, I'll tug on them a little, just for some, make the even tension. And I'll bring them up, not in between my needles, but back behind it. So that's just flipped up and I'll knit my red stitch. My next one's going to be a blue stitch. I'll do that. You can do it for a stitch or two or three. The more strands that you're weaving in together, the thicker it will be. So the better it is to go to maybe two or three stitches before you weave it in the other way. So before I had flipped up over my right needle, now I'm flipping down, okay? And I will, for this design, I'm knitting three of the red stitches. So maybe I'll knit just two of them. Then I'll flip all four loose ends back up again. Again, it's not in between my needles, just back over the right needle to lift it up. Knit a red, a blue. I could put it down now or just do another red, flip it down again. So it's this flipping it up and flipping it down that weaves it in for me on the back side. I do it typically for about two inches worth to get over to that point. When I'm done, before I'm going to sew down the lining of this, eventually what I'll do is I'll take some of these threads and I'll cut them off usually about a third of an inch or so. Leave some there that'll fuzz up and uh, felt in place and keep anything from sliding back. Not that this Shetland wool moves much of anywhere once I put it where I want it. So that's pretty much it. Again, now I'm going to do three blue stitches. So I'll bring the all four back up again, up over the right, knit my third blue, back to reds, and flip it down. That's it. Hope you find it helpful. Happy knitting.